Welcome to Rockford CCG's How to Play UFS The Basics, Video 1, The Beginning. Uh, in this video, we will walk you through the five different card types in UFS. Uh, we will also show you how to set up or start a game. Also, we will show, uh, tell you um, the whole objective of the game um, in short. So uh, we'll get right into card types. First, we have our character card type. This is what you base your deck around of. Your character will have uh, one, uh, three of 12 symbols. Uh, that's how you build your deck. You, you pick a symbol. Um, each symbol does varying um, kind of techniques or gimmicks, as you will. Um, Taki here, I have built her off this bottom symbol with the pitchfork. It is evil. Um, she has two abilities, which we'll get into later in a later video. But uh, right now, I'll point you to her vitality, which is 28. Uh, this kind of leads into the how to win in UFS. You can uh, you beat your opponent, you knock them down to zero. That's how you win a game of UFS. It is um, this bit that simple. You knock them down to zero. She has a hand size of six. Um, so every time it's my turn, I draw up to six cards, and uh, no more, no less, unless I have other effects. But we'll get into that again uh, in another video. But uh, we'll go into these other four card types. The first type, the first one is an attack. This is your, I guess, your uh, your bread and butter. This is how you kill your opponent. You throw attacks until they die. Um, each attack has a speed value and a damage value, as well as a difficulty value and a control value. Uh, every, uh, not all cards, but a lot of cards with this shield here in the top right hand corner, that is considered the block. And the text box down here will have different uh, varying abilities and or keywords. And it also has three symbols. So you have to make sure uh, when building your UFS deck, your deck matches one symbol all the way through. Um, generally, more advanced players can intermix symbols that don't match. Um, but that's more of an advanced thing. And maybe we'll cover that in a later video. Uh, the next card type I'm going to talk about is Foundations. Um, these are the building blocks of your deck, hence the name foundation. Um, they have abilities on them in the text box, which will help you either um, buff your attacks or debuff your opponent's attacks, make them stronger or make your opponent's attacks weaker. Uh, it also has, um, every UFS card has a difficulty and a control. So you'll see these two numbers on every card we show, uh, and every card in the game has them. Um, again, this card has a block in the top right hand corner and the three symbols. As you can see, this card has two varying, uh, one varying symbol off this card prior to it. Um, I will be able to keep playing, um, I will be able to play this card because it has the evil symbol and matches Taki. Uh, next two type card types are not needed in a deck, but they are very, very helpful um, to your game plan, depending on what your game plan is. Uh, first is an asset. These are like equipment cards or uh, I guess, yeah, basically equipment cards um, is the way I describe them. Um, again, they have a difficulty and a control. This one also has a block. It does match evil, so it will match. It is a Taki card, so obviously it has all of her symbols, but I am building it off the evil symbol. And there's a text box, um, which we will get into as we uh, do a couple gameplay videos and we'll walk you guys through the gameplay. Uh, next is Revoke, uh, which is an action card. This also has the evil symbol, so it will match everything I have in the deck. It has a control and a difficulty. It does not have a block. Some cards that are too powerful will not have a block on them. So you can't use them as blocks, obviously. Uh, there's also a text box here. So this has different varying abilities. So uh, let's get into startup. So what you'll do is you'll... By the rules in the LGR, which I will link in the video below, you're supposed to keep your character in your deck, but to save time, everyone usually keeps their um, character outside of the deck. So what I'll do is we'll randomize our deck by shuffling a few times. And then we'll show you how to set up. Um, everyone's board is different. Uh, we have uh, two areas in the board. Uh, we have the card pool, which is up here, your staging area, which is below. Uh, those usually don't change, um, but character position and deck position and discard pile position changes per player. Um, so I'll show you how I set mine up after I'm done shuffling. So give me one second, drop the card. All right, so I like to set my character up in the center so I don't forget abilities. I also like to keep my deck 
in the upper right hand corner of my playmat. And so, so uh, when we first start the game, um, your opponent sits down, shuffle up your deck, you offer your opponent to cut it, and then we determine who goes first. So normally you roll die, or you can cut to number, or paper, rock, scissors, or arm wrestle, or whatever you feel like doing. So I'm just going to cut, I'm going to cut deck, so I hit 65, let's just say they had a lower one, so I get to go first. So as first player, your character will start committed, uh, or going to sleep as I like to call it. Um, so they start, because going first is an advantage, and um, in the LGR it states your character starts committed, your opponent's character will not start committed, uh, they will start ready. So what we'll do is we'll draw our opening hand, so I draw six cards, one, two, three, four, five, six. So um, generally when starting a game at UFS, uh, you have no foundation base to build your, uh, um, your foundation or your game plan on. So you need to have these cards down here to help you, uh, one, buff and debuff attacks. Uh, they can also help you pass checks. So if I wanted to play this, this attack, on a six, I wouldn't be able to pass it because I have no foundations. And yeah, there are some six checks, but more often than not, the, the highest con constant number in your deck is going to be five or three on the most, most often. So what we'll do is um, look at our hand. We have four foundations, two attacks which is a great start for a six-hander, because you usually want to try to build three uh, at minimum, uh, four or five if you're lucky. So we'll keep this hand and we'll start. Um, let's say um, I had uh, three attacks and two foundations in an action. Uh, we would mulligan that hand away. Mulligan means we would remove the hand from the game and then draw back up to our starting hand size. So um, after you determine mulligans and uh, who's going for, after you, Determine who's going first, you draw your opening hand, um, you do your mulligans, and then you can start the game, and that will, and then you can start playing cards. That will, we will show you in video two, which will be called actually playing cards. So stay tuned for that. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out uh, our YouTube page, our incoming webpage at rockfordccg.com. Also, you can check out our Patreon page for early content. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.